Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. <clears throat> Just a quick video today. Actually, I'm going to do this video and then I'm going to do two other videos after it. Uh, but this is just the first one with the Stepman cosplay costume reveal. Uh, my lab coat's here. Check it out. I got my uh, I got my ID card. I got my pocket protector with uh, some tools, uh, and I got my my cool yellow like uh, goggles. And these things are really psychedelic because they turn everything yellow, so it's all you know, pretty intense here for me at the moment. This is it. On my uh, on my ID card, it's JJ. That's me. Uh, ID 1337, obviously. Um, and then I've got a job title here. Um, I have 66 job titles planned out. So I'm going to give you a new job title every time I do a video. And I'm going to wear my costume every time I do a video. So uh, today's the inaugural job title, and I thought this was pretty funny, and I hope my mate Craig agree, agrees. I am Craig Entertainer, because my friend Craig is like the only person who reads my blog. <laughs> so this video is for him. I hope he gets it. Um, I, I wanted to I wanted to demo the thing. I'll I'll put some information in the blog post that goes with this video. Uh, to show you who Egon Stetman is. He's the scientist from StarCraft II computer game. Uh, and he wears a lab coat and he has an ID badge and he has a pocket protector. He has some features that I don't have yet. Um, uh, he has like uh, soda cans in his thing. I'm not really going to do that. And he has like a camo t-shirt, not this blue one. But... Uh, Maybe as an upgrade to the costume in the future, I'll get some some camo shirts just to, you know, better match the uh, the the vision of 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 the costume. So uh, yeah, I figure if I'm going to be in the lab, I might as well be dressed like I belong in a lab, you know. So um, yeah, I wanted to tell you about the costume. Uh, the two videos that I'll be doing later, I'm going to be doing the unboxing for my new. Philco mechanical keyboards. These things are great. I got two of them. I got the 10 keyless one, um, which is like 84 keys or something, and the um, and I got the uh, the full size one as well. So I got two of those. I'll be showing them. Just an unboxing. That'll probably be pretty quick. And then I'm going to play around with this uh, power supply tester, which looks like a bit of fun. Um, I picked it up, I think, on AliExpress uh, recently, somewhere recently. Uh, it's arrived. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to test an Xbox power supply, so I'll do a video of that. But this video is just to do the costume reveal. So here I am, dressed up like Egon Stepman uh, from StarCraft 2, and uh, i got my glasses, i got my things. I'll uh, link... Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to tell you. Um, I have signed up for affiliate accounts for Amazon, US Amazon, and AliExpress. So um, when I link to uh, Amazon stuff or AliExpress stuff, those will be affiliate links. I've got to figure out how I do a, like a, a disclaimer or a notice about that so that people don't get upset and feel like I'm trying to swindle them. Um, I haven't signed up for eBay or Amazon Australia. I tried to sign up for Amazon Australia, but there was some problem, and I don't know if it was their side or if it was to do with my browser or what. So I haven't been able to do that yet, and I haven't even tried it eBay yet. But mostly when I link to things, US, Amazon, and AliExpress, that's the main game anyway. That's pretty much where I get most of my stuff. And linking to stuff on eBay can be a little bit of a mess because I find that their listings, you know, come and go a lot compared to uh, uh, <coughs> the others. Um, but that might be something I do in the future as well. Anyway, I'll try and document that and figure that out. But uh, yeah, there, you, you're probably going to see more affiliate links around the place. Unless anyone's really seriously offended by that, in which case just let me know and I'll stop doing it because I imagine I'm going to make a whole 20 cents out of the uh, endeavor. But I figured I might as well do it. It's what the other people who do YouTube videos things do. So, you know just trying to toe the line here and fit in and, and do what we do. Speaking of which, at some point, 
I'm going to do a Patreon thing. I've been thinking about it. Um, but look, honestly, um, that's just down the track. I think for now, really, what I want to do with this um, channel is uh, just finish getting the lab sort of operational. It's kind of there now. I've uh, I've been putting this together over the last couple of years, so um, I, it's pretty. I'm pretty well kitted out now. I've got a lot of the things that I want, so that I can do the kind of things that I want to do. And really, where I'm planning to take this whole channel is into OG Xbox. So I'm going to be doing like refurbs and rest re restorations and modding and like data recovery and. Uh, testing and all that sort of thing on the OG Xbox. You might see a couple of them in the corner there. I've got a bunch of them. Um, I'm going to be tearing them apart and putting them back together and seeing if I can um, take the ones that aren't working and make them work. Um, it's it's what I'm planning to do with this channel. So um, I don't have much experience with it yet. Um, I've just been putting the lab together. Uh, I have done a little bit of playing. I've got an Xbox down here which I did restore. That was the first one I did, and it went swimmingly. Like it was the everything turned to gold. The first one I touched, so I was pretty happy about that, and that pegged my expectations up here. Um, but then, man, I had to go at a whole bunch of other ones, and I had all sorts of trouble making them work. So I've, I've got a lot to learn about what you have to do to restore an Xbox. Uh, there's trace rot, there's leaking capacitors, you need to recap them, you need to fix the uh, solder paste. Uh, you can have problems with the hard drives. I've seen various cabling damage issues. Um, I don't know a lot about modding yet. I don't know about the ATA drive locking. Um, so I, I've, I've got a lot to learn. I'm planning to uh, build some tools to help me. So I, I want to... Um, oh, look, we'll talk about all that some other time. But yeah, the, the goal for this channel is to do uh, OG Xbox um, refurbs. Uh, we need the lab to do it. The lab is largely ready to go. So uh, pretty soon we're going to switch from doing just the odd unboxing to doing more of the OG Xbox uh, refurb sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the future of the channel. It's the planned future of the channel. I'll also probably do little bits and pieces of just electronic stuff. I've been also thinking maybe I'll do uh, some of the uh, Maxtronics um, 201, 301, 501s. Uh, projects. There's something like 1,600 projects to do, so that will keep me busy for like a decade. Uh, and I might start doing that. And I've got a setup over here called the booth, uh, which is really set up to do that. Um, so you know, maybe I'll, I'll I'll factor that in as well. Anyway, the 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 branding is basically in the lab with JJ, and it's gonna be mostly OG Xbox, but it's not gonna be simply that. But here I am. Here's my costume. I just want to let you know about the costume. Um, I'm going to uh, post this video now, and I'm going to get on with making the, uh, the next two videos, um, and I'll post them later in the week. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's everything, and I'll see you in the next video.